putting this on YouTube for the other guys. So this is the program we did last class, giving you an introduction. We had five steps, and we're going to add three more. We're going to add some logic, which includes if statements, and then we're going to talk about the final output, step seven, and then actually step eight, I'll demonstrate a while loop, but that's also the same as the, as the logic part. So this gives us control over our program, which up till now is top down. So do you guys have a part where you ask them to enter their name in a J option pane? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Right after that, let's add step seven. So I'm going to create a little space in there. And I'm going to use a standard if statement. And there are several varieties. And if statements use curly braces. Not semicolons. So if it does equal Bob, we can have all sorts of code happen. We, there's no limit to how many lines of code we can have. So I'm going to copy and paste, or just move this J option pane in here, and put a message. Now what we can also do is we can have several ifs. In fact, I'll just copy my above statement. Then I'm going to hit Control Shift F to format. You guys don't necessarily have to do that. But then when I run it, depending on what I enter, if I enter Bob, I should say congrats, I'm in the first one. If I enter Tom, I'm in the second. And I'm going to do some output, final output. And when the program is done, it's still operating sequentially top to bottom. But if the if statement conditions, which are what in the parentheses are not true, it just skips those. And my final output that's the end of the program. So if none of these are true, it's possible the program can run and get neither of these outputs. If those aren't true, it'll just skip them and then come down here. And if it gets one of the other outputs, it'll still finally show this. But the outputs often are determined by the if statements. And then you can always have like an ending message to sort of clean up the program at the end as necessary. Now, if we wanted to do a default, I'm going to comment this out for now. 
we would add an else. And that else has to be directly associated with the if above it. So an else needs to immediately follow an if closing phrase. Since it's an either or, yes or no situation, if we didn't have them follow, uh, the else following the if, it sort of separates the yes and the no when you're having either or. Put my curly braces in. And once again, it doesn't matter if they're on the same line or not. And our else, because it's a default, it doesn't need any conditions in the parentheses. Because it only executes if the if is not true. Now let's say I move this if statement up This one is no longer associated with the else, or it just isn't. They're just completely separate entities. And I'm going to hit Control Shift F to for format. Now our final step is going to be to add a while loop. I'm going to go right here before the logic, and the while loop is actually is, is logic. It's just the uh, repetition. We want to add that last because it's just a different type of logic, and we want to make sure our if statements work first. But it's almost the same syntax. We use the word while. And then we have conditions and then curly braces. Bless you. I'm going to add a curly brace there. Having true in there means it's an endless loop. Which is fine. A little space. So that I have an error of unreachable because I have an endless loop. So what we would need to do is surround it's the end of the loop. What we want to do is surround all code we want repeated. So what I would do then is copy this, or cut it rather, and I want to, these if else statements to keep repeating, so it keeps repeating unless someone enters Tom or Bob. And notice I can't get to my final output because it's unreachable. 
later on we can put in conditions in our while loop such as if input equals something or other but a quick way to do things if you ever need to get out of a loop if they enter Tom or Bob we can use this the word break so I'm going to add that if they enter Tom or if they enter Bob, that'll bounce us out of the loop and now this is accessible where it says this is the end of the program. 